Well, hello and welcome to another stream of the Venerable Brotherhood. We, it is six o'clock and it's a Friday afternoon, for me at least. Uh, thank anyone for joining me today. Well, just today I'm going to be going over the fact that all my archives will be on YouTube. The links are down below in the Twitch stream for anyone that's on YouTube watching this. The link for the Twitch stream should be somewhere in the YouTube description as well. I'd definitely be joining you. Uh, I also have a Twitter feed, which should be on both pages, and I will be announcing um, the t Twitch stream scheduling there. As my work schedule has become a little bit erratic as of late, but without further ado, I think we should just switch on over to the game after I get things loaded up. And we should be good to switch over. Alright, so I just want to give it a couple seconds to make sure that everything is running alright. And it's not a black screen again. That is the last thing I would actually want. But, let's see here. If I can't access this, I should be able to watch this on my phone at the moment. We had just gotten the overall quest for Nilfgaard to, or from the Emperor Emir von Emers, to retrieve and or rescue Siri. Uh, she is the compatriot. She's supposedly the daughter of Emir. I don't know where that connection comes from. I still have yet to read the final book in the Witcher series, so I am not super familiar with that. But I definitely have that. But there should be a cutscene right away as we are connecting. Geralt and Yennefer uh, yes. were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. So yes, it was a very short and bittersweet reunion with Yennefer, our long-lost love that we had gained amnesia for interacting with the, uh, Wild Hunt. You are in searching for her. Fame. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but we had just finished up our discussion with the Emperor, so that means we can switch back into our combat gear. I believe... Uh, it doesn't look like I have any better armor than this. Just a quick... Well, this will do better than those gloves. Ooh, nice and blue. And we can also equip our blades. This should be my steel sword, and that should be the only steel sword I possess. My crossbow and witcher's sword. Good, it kept all my consumables equipped. So yes, ah, I also have split bolts, but that is something for later. So, we apparently our first trek on our journey, I believe, ah yes, that's the, for the Gwent tournament, but we're not doing that today. Ah, the first trek on our journey will most likely be Velen. We can go to Nov... Novograd or the Skellic Isles immediately, but they're a little bit out of our level range, and realistically, the questing progression works better with... It works better when you go to just to Velen. As we're only, we're only level 3. And so we'll get right into loading into that place, and I believe the only place we have is Yes, the hangman's tree. So I was correct. It was around this area that we load into. Geralt and Yennefer were oh, reunited. We see the cuts and something again. even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. So I had also taken a look at some of the talents or attributes 
some of the abilities we can spend our character points on, and I believe I have chosen to go towards the combat path. The and last time I played this game, I played the magic path, which I thoroughly enjoy, and really enjoy the most. But we might actually have a cutscene as we go into the Velen. Yes. So we'll watch this and discuss that afterwards. Yes, yes, I know Parker's name. Then Rune Riot, this is all the expansion stuff. We've actually entered the game proper, I guess would be the most appropriate description. We have gotten out of the white run. So yeah, we got the uh, Heart of Stone quest. This will actually start up the Heart of Stone. But that's not what we're doing. We're actually looking up the, for the Nilf Guardian connection. So this is the overarching quest line for the main storyline, and I believe, oh that's right, this is our introduction into Novgorod. So this is our introduction into Velen, this is our introduction into Novgorod, we're supposed to visit Triss. Don't imagine she'd be too happy to see us, considering the last time we spoke. We were in a relationship, but then Geralt remembered that he was in love with Yennefer after regaining his memory, so mm, no idea how that's going to go out. And then this is the introduction quest to Skellig. Um, Skellig is where Yennefer went to, and she used teleportation to go there, which Geralt vehemently refuses to do, considering it is very groggy for him. Oh, there was... Hmm, I will probably have to... I will definitely have to go back and look for the other portion of the School of the Viper in White Orchard. Interesting. Oh well, we'll get more of those treasure hunt quests as we go through the game, most likely. I don't know if I need to go back to White Orchard to get those, but there are different Witcher school gears. But as for the character, I believe I'm going to be going down the uh, combat tree as I went through the magic tree last time. It doesn't mean I won't be getting some magic, as getting at least, I believe, this level of Axie helps me tremendously in dialogue options. So Jedi Mind Trick can get through a lot of discussions and interferences. So yeah, it um, increases the effectiveness and av Axie in dialogues, which definitely helps. And it also increases stamina regeneration combo, which is incredibly useful. I believe Corrin's also useful. It's likely this one. Because uh, the damage absorbed by the shield resource vitality, I've used that to basically heal me up in many fights. Uh, but I went through and some of the potion ones, the alchemy one, doesn't really interest me so much. It requires you to be at high levels of toxicity, which I could definitely easily do, and using bombs and traps and potions and such. But it doesn't really do anything. It makes them more useful. It doesn't really do anything new. Where the combat one has this level of things where... Oh no, it's not this level, it's this level. Where like, the light attacks get a whirl ability and the heavy attacks get a rend ability. They have interesting things. Just counterattacks, and I don't, probably won't be going down the crossbow line because crossbows aren't really that good. And then this is adrenaline focus. Ah, yeah. So this is adrenaline focus, which increases your sword damage, which I will probably be going down the point line as well. So I, 
Uh, actually, I think I'm going to be maxing out the Axie sign first, which will probably use up many of our points, but I want to make sure that we can use the uh, Axie symbol and dialogue options as soon as possible. So, and I believe I mentioned this last time, but I'll mention it again. Just because I've purchased this ability doesn't mean it's active. I actually have to move it into this area, which then slots it and activates it. And because this mutagen isn't of the right color, I don't actually get any benefits from it, but if I had a green one, it would. That leaves me with two other points. So I'm actually going to... I think I actually want to play more towards the heavy attacks than the fast attacks, but I'll probably switch between the two, and we'll see how well it works out in the end. It doesn't mean that these points will be wasted at all, it just means they won't be super useful and relevant right away in the beginning. But I'm going to be getting more sword damage for heavy attacks for the beginning. So that spends all of our points. And that kind of wraps up that. So, yes, the hangman's tree. Welcome to Velen. It's a roving countryside of farms and villages, along with a gigantic marsh in the south. So there is so here, and Velen is pretty much everything. So this is the Pantar River. This is the the ocean connection of the Pantar River, and we've been about the Pantar valley in the Witcher 2 game is pretty much predominantly where the Witcher 2 game takes place. But anything below and south of the Ponta River is Velen. So this, so this is all formally part of Tamiria. So this is all controlled by Nilfgaard at the moment, as Tamiria has been assumed completely by it. Uh, Oxenfurt, which is this town here, is part of Rodania, which is everything to the north. Novgrad is an independent town. Uh, it's uh, essentially a city-state, much like Singapore is today. But there is a huge marsh here that will become incredibly important later. And if I remember correctly, this is the forward most Nilfgaardian military camp. But I'll probably see that along the way eventually too. I was just wanted to see if there was maybe a post on the, this tree stating like their crimes or something like that. But that Slow now. Be. Whoa. So I think we're just going to ride into town and find our contact in the area. You're just Whoa! Okay then, the gods have turned from you. Oh. Well then again, most of the town is burned, so Here. I know the Nilfgaardian army and Redania and Tamiria are burning through the blades. But, um, yes, so the first thing I usually like to do when entering a new town is hitting up the message board as it unlocks the uh, markers around the area. And it also gives you a nice couple of quests. So a guide's wanted. I have need of a man to guide me and my family across the Pontar. Five of us and all, me and my wife, three young'uns, but there's calm, not the crying or yelling sort. Oh, they're calm. Won't give us away to the soldiers. I'm not rich, but whatever I'll give. Uh, most likely not actually a quest. Someone just trying to flee to Redania. Consider yourself self-informed. Every man with a, pr with a producing milk cow is obliged to bring it to Crow's Perch for the weekend's weeks end. After that we find a cow in any man's yard. We'll give him 50 lashes on the spot the man, not the cow, and take all other goods of his we can carry. Uh, I don't know what sergeant this is, but this is pretty much par for a feudal era military going through the area. They kind of confiscate all the goods. Help us send him off to where he has eyes to read. The other day our helper died, so this is a... Aunt, you can spare help, please, if we don't send him off to the next world, proper like he'll haunt us. This might actually be a witcher's contract to help 
put off a wraith? Watch what you say, the trees have ears, the kind stranger that's ominous. Good folk, if you see any wander wonders hanging in the woods, such as treants fit for yule time, dangling off branches, which your barks, which are pies, then no matter how fierce your belly growls turn back, whoever partakes of those trees is never seen among the living again. So this is this is a reference to um, Hansel and Gretel, where you have pies and fritters and such in the woods, and that lures in people, and then you get eaten by the witch in the middle, or the witch in the woods, but as the brilliant thing is, most of our fairy tales have been incorporated into the Witcher world, they just have their own flair and interpretation and the way they work in this world. Take pity, good people, take pity and hear my plea, my wife Hannah is missing a few days ago, she went in the woods and hasn't returned. So that might actually be a contract for a missing person. So, undiscovered location markers have been added. The missing wife contract most likely added. Wild at heart. Hunger's turned this one pale. Okay. So that should be a secondary quest. And that is. Started a name Hunter. Was looking for any help he could find. Yes. Yeah, so that's finding his wife. So nothing else was an actual quest. It appears. But I did get that one. So I might, we might check that one out later, depending on how close it is, but we're definitely here for this one. It's the inn at the crossroads. Which is apparently not this crossroads. It's apparently that crossroads. But that doesn't stop us from checking out this area. It's locked. So this just looks like a war-torn little village. This might have been the village... He's bound to come back, isn't he? Reckon so, boy. This was the village we were most likely meant to... Master Witcher, there's an elven burial ground in the caverns near about mid cops, and a heap of my plowing invisible. So that was... A... Ambient quest. I don't... He didn't finish it, but there's an elven burial ground. This might be it, or... So yeah, we accessed this message board and it unlocked all of these unknown locations for us. And then once we, so all of the notice board symbols. So once we get to you here, to the crossroads, and actually activate this one, we'll probably get more here and maybe a couple up here. And each one unlocks the unknown locations in their area. But it doesn't look like we have anything to get hey, yeah. Was it? Oh, okay, so this is Malt Brickdale. So it doesn't, doesn't mean we're forever getting tossed at the tavern. Doesn't look like we have anything left to gain here. Uh, so we both forces attack. Hey there! Free that! A wall of infantry march. That man was probably describing the event that led them to this woeful event. So, yeah, we started here and we've just crossed and we'll just go across this Faster. Way. So we'll just, you know, take in the scenery as we go along, but we are searching down. Hello. Step away. Chaplain's praying. Can't you see? Do not cast him out, Roderick. All may draw from the well of the Eternal Fire's grace. Approach, Witcher. So, yeah. The Eternal Fire is kind of the... It's the religion everyone is flocking to for safety and security at the moment. There are other ones in this world, but this one is definitely rising, as is promising security and safety and uh, redemption. Pretty much people are afraid and dying, so they're turning to religion for safety, security, and more importantly, salvation for those who have died. And the Eternal Fire promises that, so it's... A rising power. It's also the main power, as we've caught in hints when we talked to the ambassador of the Nilf Guardians last time, because he worked in Nilfgrad. Uh, with that, the the flame, the Church of the Eternal Fire has taken, pretty much, is the predominant power in Nilfgrad. So we'll be interacting with this religion quite a lot. 
What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Yeah, sure, why not? It's a quest. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. I'm just gonna switch over to that one. That quest. Nowhere I know where I'm going. For the crossroads. So, there are apparently three funeral pyres that I must light. And there's one nearby, but it doesn't look like that one is on the road, but that doesn't mean we can't go to it. It should be somewhere over here. Yeah, a little bit of a distraction for sure. Or secondary quests. That's pretty much the most the gist of this game. Um, also, Geralt is, uh, just to go on a little bit more backstory of the Witchers, Witchers are believed and it is truly unknown, at least to me, of whether or not Witchers no longer possess emotions. The Witchers themselves play it up that they don't. Apparently it's up here. That they no longer possess emotions as a consequence of the mutation. It's something that's probably ghouls about. I'm going to draw a silver blade. So people don't really... Yeah, sure stinks like a mass with grave. With now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. So people don't really feel well. Let's see here. I need. Oh, let's try something. Oh, he popped. Just... Oh, yes. Yeah, That's not apparently our first rod fiend we've run into. Rod fiends are a different type of necrophage than corpse eaters. But they also explode. On death. What now, so you there's piece of a lot about. <laughs> Finish you off with heavy attack. So, looks like that might have actually been all that's about. Unless there's more over. Eh, yeah, that's far enough away that it shouldn't bother. So, this is the mass grave that we've come here to burn, so. Pour some of the holy oils now upon it. Now for a shot of Igni. And as he's Geralt so aptly stated, just some fire. And that was enough to get us a level. Brilliant. So we're going to quickly put another point into Oh, and that also unlocked our third ability point slot. So I'm just going to continue leveling up strength training. Yes. So now we have three points. So it's an increased damage of strong attacks. And an increased the the point generation from them. Roach! We are done here. We continue on to the crossroads. I can't even take a little bit to realize where I was. Oh. How you like that silver? So the wild dogs were over here. <laughs> Dogs, or those were the symbols that we saw, and that's also one third of the quest complete. Should just be the road we are. No, no, we need to turn around. So normally there is a map in the upper right hand corner, but I've turned it off for immersion's sake. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hello, Drowner. Okay, then. So, trying to get into causing the causing creatures to dodge, and then do heavy attacks. Yes, yes, yes. One moment, please. So, unbind me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. Yes, someone obviously played like John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it a bit. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees. Fucking bursting with patriotism, they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. So, this guy basically abandoned his post and fled the army before the Dark... Uh, the Nilfgaardians beat the living crap out of and dispersed the Tamarian army. And some people just tied him up and left him for dead. That's... That's not nice. Yeah, he's a coward, and he fled a battle, but he doesn't really... I don't feel he doesn't deserve to die for that, so... Let's just untie him. We'll see what the consequences of it. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I'm not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. So we might run into him sometime in the future. So John Vroom. Verdon. Verdon. So he's just essentially a random person we've run and crossed. And that potentially could show up and we could gain I don't know, something useful from it later. So he did go, say he go. was gracious. And Thing. That was a walking person. Oh, it's that guy. So he's running off to the place that we were just at? Yeah. So he's running that way. I'm gonna head off to the crossroads first. We'll deal with the, um... Well, we'll deal with the pyres eventually when we get there. So I think we're heading over there, actually. We just have to find the bridge. That is a lot of drowners. They look like fun to kill. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Oh, I missed. Yeah, definitely do not have the stamp regeneration problem. Dodging just lets that down. Anything? No, oh, just a dead person with a fish on you, and so there wasn't really any purpose to this, but a few less drowners in the world. There's a bunch of corpses, not much on them. And of course, some chemical ingredients. Hmm, why were you all here? One Florin. Oh well. Are there any points of interest about? No. We probably have to access the message board across the lake in order to get the ones closer to here. If that's what we'll be doing next. I think there were probably dogs or wolves up there. Should just need to cross the road here. Oh, so this is just it's not really a bridge, it's just a fjord shallows. It's a 
there might have been something more here beforehand, but there's not anymore. This should be the crossroads. 